Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunkami Lordy and today we're back on Deathloop, a new game that we highlight in our live stream, some of the campaign experience with Colt and within today's video, we'll be highlighting the multiplayer experience behind Deathloop, the PvP action as Juliana does attack Colt in this experience as you have to protect the loop. And there's a point in the story of Break the Loop, which essentially when you play as Colt, they would turn online game mode aspects on, where you play against the enemy Juliana. And this character can hunt down Colt as a hunter to get some rewards as well, as she protects the loop. So kind of interesting dynamic as a 1v1 PvP aspect within the story campaign missions. And it's really, really interesting. So we'll highlight everything on screen, how to actually get a match and all those good components within this video shall be a fun one no matter what. Before we do into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates that watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, Let's get straight into this. And this game mode consists of 1v1 PvP action where you pretty much have to hunt down Cole as Juliana. So that is the character that's highlighted on screen right now. So you got your components here, your weaponary, so you can always change weapons. You pick up weapons off Colts that you attacked and also other weapons like these legendary weapons which I've never seen before. So I'm very, very interested in these. Let's put that on and let's put this over there. Perfect. And we still got the purple item from prior. And these gold weapons have certain animations, reload and fire at the same time, perfect. And also the element of open wound, shoot enemies, take damage over time. Well, this one has feedback loop, stack damage buff when hitting enemies. So you get more damage constantly after using this weapon. Interesting kits. And they also put trinkets and perks on your main character, which are essentially modifiers. So you get double jumps and such other things in the game. We can talk about that in the future. Then you have your abilities. There's like five of these slabs. One of the ones that we have on currently is shift followed by these grenades and also the idea to actually masquerade yourself into the actual environments. So you pretty much swap with one of the AIs in your visual appearance and pretty much do a jump attack against Cole. Kind of interesting. If your mates are playing this as well, you can actually invade your friend's timeline or invade random timelines. And I think random timelines is what we're gonna go for here to highlight the game mode in its entirety. We'll highlight the components as we go, but I'm excited to see what the PVP has to offer in Deathloop. Let's get into it. So we're jumping into the fray as Juliana in the Deathloop PvP experience. And hopefully we can kill Colt and get those weapons. Get those benefits. Hopefully the game is working. There we go. <laughs> okay, stop Colt. Perfect. We get certain kits. Pretty much our loadout we can carry on between the match. Colt can spawn anywhere, I believe. I believe he's down there. Most likely. As a spawn point. But you can also double check here and get some setups. These shouldn't activate on me. Cool. Nothing will actually activate on me. So these mines over here, these setups of these trip mines, the turrets, the cameras and all that stuff, they won't activate at all against me. But what I need to do is protect this actual area here from getting hacked by Colt. So that's like my actual goal. And also by pressing T, I can tag Colt and that loads AIs close by to actually target him and call in reinforcements. So there is benefits. And we got our special ability, so we can use everything here. I can push up, get a sight on Colt and there we see. I can see him from a distance. Let's jump away here. I'm gonna retreat back here because we have to protect this area here. That's my goal, protect here. We got mine set up. So mine set up is going towards these trip mines and such things will happen here as well with these trip mines over here. So you got some crazy setup potential overall. Our other legendary weapons seems to be similar. They're both automatic weapons. Just have uh, different benefits. So I can see him over here. Get some shots here. He's going with his special abilities. Can I tag him? So my goal would be to tag him, but he's actually hacked these turrets here. Which puts me in a bad position. So I'm watching him. 1v1 scenario. Get some shots here. Nasty work. Got one of the kills on that actual player. He most likely has reprice somewhere. It's a different location close by. Let's move, let's move. You gotta watch out. He's right behind there. So I'm waiting for him to actually get tagged. Press tag him. So you can use his heals, but we don't actually have heals. So we gotta watch out for this. Nice work. Not enough though. Let's teleport. Try to reposition here. Put you guys away and tries to heal. Did he die there again? There's no way he died. There's only two reprises. He's got another. He might actually have another, so he died to the AI there. Our health does not regenerate. So we gotta be very, very careful that we can't actually regenerate health. So we need to stagger it as much as possible, Colt, with actual kit. This guy maybe doesn't have the best items from what's dropped. 
The AI over here is making so much noise. Oh my god, I killed it. What the hell? Did not expect that. Is there anything else here? Is that it? Did I win? Where's he camping? I found him. Found him. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Get me out. Get me out. We don't want to die there. He got us in a weird position. So he can't heal unless he gets to a safe zone or find some fizz pop around the map, which allows heal. In this case, I could possibly do the same. And since I do have access to certain rooms, I actually can go in there and get the health, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, looks like I'm all good. But I don't think there's any fizz pop here. Oh no, that's not good. We'll double check. We'll scout around. And then go back towards the actual POI. So you can actually learn, do all the good stuff you need to. But I'm not sure how much of it's applicable to this character when it comes to healing mechanics. So this is the first one I actually needed to heal in a fight. So I'm kind of interested. I'm actually not sure where it is in this part of the POI. But I'm not seeing a player. Where the enemy player is camping, he's not appearing anywhere on the map at the moment. He's not getting detected by any other AI units on the map. Which means he's playing very, very safe. In this case, we have time to actually look around. Because it won't boot us out, but we got Fizz Pop. There you go. And it actually does heal us. Perfect. So knowing locations of actually where meds may be, or Fizz Pop in this case, is actually quite beneficial for this character. So you pretty much keep yourself sustained in the fight. I'm happy about that. Okay, let's go towards this POI over here. If he's unable to get to this point, we pretty much win the game. So I'm watching. Let's shift over here. Reload as well, just in case. There you go. Nice damage. We're going to watch out. He's going to use his uh, melee attack. Keep a distance away from it. Due to the fact that melee damage is actually quite busted in this game. Oh my god, no way. No way that was a one shot. That was a one shot. What? That is so unfair. We're also lagging, so I'm kind of happy that we did kind of decent there. So we would have got that kill if I kept my distance. So it seems like the best way to kill Juliana is by using Colt's machete, essentially. I wonder if that works vice versa if we do the exact same thing. Is that a mechanic that actually works? But I feel like I'm always staggering every time I shift due to the lag. We'll find out as we go. We'll play one more match because I'm quite excited. That's kind of an interesting experience. How much pressure you place on Colt on his campaign mission and pretty much stagger him so he can't actually complete the mission in time. So that's quite crazy. Let's go to the next match. So we'll jump into a second match and straight into it. I like it. Oh, same part of the map as well. Interesting. I think we're still in the same position. We can hold down this area here I'll keep pushing up like last time. We do have different weapons on. So hopefully this does make it easier. We'll find out. We've got a shot as well. How do I make them switch together? Become one weapon. I can't remember. Oh no. Three transform. We better ditch this. It's placing actual modifiers on us. This guy's actually quite good. Where do you go? I'm playing a little bit more safe here. I hope we get a jump attack on him. Got a jump attack. Not enough. Nice work. He does have host advantage, so you've got to be very, very careful. So I'm going to dip out of here and try to survive. I do have our setups here, so I'm going to go back towards the tunnel. And we know there's meds there. So we'll get some meds and get a pizzy pop and utilize that to our advantage. Perfect. Get max HP. Reload, reload. Go back down to this position here. You can flank through this, but the chance of that occurring very low. This pistol here is actually quite good. Pistol SMG. And gives you explosive damage as well if you get headshots. I see him down there. He's gonna hack. Is he looking for me? I wonder if he's looking for me. I think he's looking for me. From his place, it looks like he's looking for me. There you go. Nice damage. We got the kill. Perfect. So he's gonna reprise close by. We gotta watch out for this. Let's dip. Different angle. There we go. I see him in the back. Got 
Got some nice damage there. The 24 bullets on this. The recoil is kind of hard to actually contain on this weapon. But he has hacked these, which means I still got an advantage. Where's he hiding? Does he know? He knows, he knows now. Oh, get me out. Get me out. He's got poison, he's got poison gas. Let's cut him back. I'm still safe, I'm still safe. Well, do well pistols here? I'm not sure it's enough. Don't think it's enough. Did he die? He died. He just spawned there. Oh my god, we got nearly got this. Nearly got this. He's going for melees. They always go for melees in this mission. There we go. Hey, easy. Another dead cult. That's how we do it. Perfect execution. So it seems like if you win or lose as Giuliani, you're still getting some type of XP towards your hunter rank and protecting the loop. So let's double check what those rewards are. That seems quite fun. I actually like that dynamic that you have those missions and you actually get to jump into those missions. As Giuliana, I only have one life. Well, Colt has pretty much three lives due to his reprise ability. But if you kill him, that pretty much cancels his loop. That is so cool to see. Well earned execution there. 275 points, rank six out of that win as well. Very, very nice with all these rewards here. Which classify towards these points here. And also 23 new rewards. I'm going to spam everything. It just seems like it's a whole bunch of trinkets. Possibly perks. New weapons. Uh, new hunter ranks as well. Followed up by uh, the slab abilities being unlocked as well. Very nice. Honestly, it's just a whole bunch of new stuff. Which I'm happy with. More weapons. More gadgets. Oh my god, it's crazy. Good rewards, good rewards. And we've got the Sniper too. We can maybe use that next time as well. That is so much fun. I like the PvP component. I'll be honest, I like it. There's still things I feel like this can have even more. In potential, like, if it's not just 1v1. And it's not the idea of just you just jumping into someone else's match in their campaign. And trying to disrupt it. Maybe there's another way to actually make like a dedicated multiplayer game mode to this. Because it could be crazy. There's so many possibilities. But I believe it does feel like it's on peer-to-peer -peer connection. So the host is in like in the US and I'm in Oz, the connection will be laggy, as you saw from those couple matches. But that was so much fun, nevertheless. But mate, tell me your opinions or thoughts in the comment section down below. I need to know, it's vital. If you mate want to see more of this on the channel soon, please tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this, and I'll catch you mates next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.